Thank you for joining us for the third Makers Creative Collab, where 10 of us get together, or 10 artists get together, and answer a challenge that was posed by Mariah from PM Artist Studio. Thank her very much for keeping this going. I answered the Stuff to Stuff November challenge by creating this box. Please check my description box below for what the other nine artists did. I'm Peg with Two Old Crows Mixed Media, and I create videos while I'm learning this discipline, and I hope you'll join me in that journey by hitting that subscribe button. And I do appreciate all of your comments and your thumbs up. It does help my channel, and that notification bell lets you know when I upload something new. I created this box. The top says I am exactly where I should be at this point in my life. This bow was created through with magazine paper that was hit with fingernail polish. This is a paper mache bowl filled with a little bracelet that I created out of paper beads made from my catch papers. The paper mache bowl was hit with encaustic medium and colored wax to make it sturdy. My Exploding box is full of positive affirmations and positive quotes that I thought would just make a, a nice addition to a gift or a nice way to deliver a gift. I'm making four of these this holiday for my grandchildren, and I think I'm going to put money and candy and things that they will enjoy inside this, along with some of these positive affirmations, because I think everybody can use those at some particular point in their day or their life or the time. In so I hope you will enjoy my little rendition here. There's some wrapped rusty nails and just some odds and ends that have been stuffed down inside with you how I create it. And I created mine out of pizza boxes because I felt that it was more substantial than what I've seen on other YouTube channels. I've seen a lot of these exploding boxes out there. There's a ton of retentions. If you do just search exploding box, you will see all kinds. What I figured out is if you take your square which this one is 11 and three quarters inches by 11 and three quarters inches from this pizza box. And if you divide that number by three, you will know exactly where to score that box to cut and create your exact dimensions that you need. So just divide your total size by three don't understand why, how it works. Tried to get my husband to explain it to me. He, he just gave up. So this is what you need to do. Just trust me on that. So I am scoring this box at a little below four inches. And I am going to score it, flip it, score it again, flip it, score it again until I have hit all four sides. So that will put a 3.9 inch square at the bottom of my box. I'm going to fold over and tighten those score lines with my bone folder. And then I am choosing to cut these outside corners out. Now you see how that folds over? You could keep those there and maybe cut them on a diagonal or cut them in half and create your pocket with those. And I do that on two of, of the boxes that I create. So this is the bottom layer of your exploding box. And it's the first one that I've created. So cutting all of those corners out and I'm left with this T-shape or this cross and it folds up and creates my foundation. I'm going to lay those aside and use them later, the pieces that I cut off. I'm going to now score 
my second and third box. So I just have gone slightly smaller in overall size and use that formula to create where I need to score. And we'll just fold those over and cut and decide what we're going to do with those little flaps. And we'll either create pockets out of them or cut them off. And in this particular one, I think I just diagonal them on two and half on two and, and create little pockets. But that's the third box. Now to create the lid, we are going to create the lid to fit the largest size box. And I have the dimensions in the next slide here, so you will get those. I'm just going to cut a slit at each corner and then I will pull that over like so and glue it. And that will create a nice lid for us. So here are all your dimensions. You can see 12 by 12, 11 and a quarter, 11 and a quarter, 10 and a half, 10 and a half, your score marks, and of course your lid size. And you score the lid at one inch. So six and an eighth by six and an eighth created the perfect size lid for that for that pizza box. Now to decorate I'm gonna use my scraps, my blues, and my browns. And I took this whole stuff stuff thing literally as far as leftovers. So I wanted to use things I had in stock and just leftovers to create this presentation or to create my entry into this. So I've chosen the, I lay that packing paper down on my table to work on. I'm going to utilize that and that is what I'm going to decorate this outside box with. So I'm just going to lay the box down and glue my remnant paper or my couch paper or where I clean my brayer and my paintbrushes and any remnants that I have while I'm working. That's going to be the foundation of this box. So I'm not going to waste anything. And I'm going to use all of my leftovers. So I shall cut that to size and just fold it over and glue it down and create that brownish, bluish ambiance on the outside of this box. And once I get all that in place, I'm going to come back and add some color by utilizing some of the stencils that I received from PM Artist Studio. And I will share with you, I believe I use Wave and yeah, I do. There are the waves. There is my glued down piece. I'm going to pull out some violet and stencil that violet wave onto what we have created thus far. And I think that looks good. I think that's a nice um, color addition for those browns and, and blues. Add a little purplish tone or violet tone in there. And I'm also going to come back with some white to lighten it up with just a second stencil out of my PM Artist Studio collection. And you can see there where I've added that white to lighten it just a bit. I'll dry that off with the heat gun and there there's the basic foundation of, of that exploding box. So let's get the inside taken care of. And I'm going to pull out some other scrap. Well, I, you know, I thought I was going to take care of the inside, but I take that back. We're going to continue to decorate the outside of this with this napkin. And I have some butterflies on this napkin that are in the colors or the color scheme that I have chosen. So I am going 
to rip those out or tear those out. And to do that easily, I just take my paintbrush and kind of go around the outside edge of what I want with a little bit of water in it. It pulls out really nice. I'll lay down some glue and water mixture and just decoupage that to the outside of this box. And there, so we have a dragonfly on one panel, we have butterflies on the other. We'll just get the overflow or the overlapping napkin sanded off so it is good and clean on the edges and there. Now we have something to go with. Let's just kind of secure those turns or folds a little bit more by taking them back once we have all that glued down. And now let's decorate the inside of the box. And I am just choosing a second couch paper in blues, cutting it into the dimension that will fit nicely on the inside panel. And there. We'll just glue those down. Cut one for the center. And I think that looks nice for the inside. Now there is pizza box showing through. So I'm going to take that violet and just smear some paint across the bottom of this. So anything peeping out will be that violet color instead of that cardboard. And I'm only going to decorate one piece of the box in this video. So what I am going to suggest is that you just rinse and repeat. So the second and third box need to be decorated as well. You can do that in any way you want. You can decorate them with scrapbooking paper. You can decorate them with your remnants like I have. You can illustrate on them and paint them. They can be anything you want them to be. And I like creating these exploding boxes out of a more substantial and sturdier medium or substrate like these pizza boxes. Pizza boxes work great because they give you that one solid piece in dimension for your largest box. And it also is a good justification for eating pizza which makes it very easy and quick to fix meal. So I'm just stenciling on those pieces that we are utilizing for the inside, then utilizing the same two stencils. Once again, created by PM Artist Studio. And of course, I, their link is in, their video link is down in my description, but I also put a link to their website where you can purchase their stencils. And I'm just going over the outside edges of these with a little black ink. And we will get them glued down. And that is going to be utilized now for my pockets. So I'm taking a couple of those pieces that we cut off from the outside edges, those corners, remember the corners that we cut off? And I'm placing them on my friscos diagonally and just cutting right down the middle. And I will be gluing these on just to create that little tuck spot or that little pocket. Now, you could have just used the background here to glue down a, a photo, and you could have used this exploding box for photo representation, just for a photo album, if you will. I chose because 
our theme with Stuff Stuff to create little pockets on each of my boxes. And just glue that down and get it into place. I'm just marking where those points are coming over the edge of that part of the box and cutting those off. And I've decided to create a little thumb hole, if you will, on a couple of these to make it easier to tuck things down inside that little tuck spot. Then, of course, we'll ink around the outside edge of all of these to give it just a little bit of depth and dimension. Glue it. I'm using glitter glue to glue these into place because that dries fast and holds up well. Just place this final one and there you have pretty much that first little box almost complete. And I didn't like just the darkness of that so I'm coming back with a Posca white pen marker and just creating some dots there in the center. Then I think I'm happy with that. So that completes that first box. We'll complete box two and box three and glue those together and get them put together and glue everything. Glue box two into box one, box three into box two and there you have a completed little exploding box. So there's two of them glued together. So now we'll get the third one decorated. And it will fit just like that inside the first two. Let's put that guy together really fast and miracle of, of YouTube video. I have completed that third one and there he is or she is. They're all nestled together. So the next step is just to, like I said, glue one to two and two to three. Let's get him turned over and glued down. And there you go. So that will hold all of the other goodies that I have created. And of course, I'm not going to go through the creation of all of those. I will place all of those videos for the complete creation of all of these boxes and all of the stuff that goes down will be on my channel, so if you'd like to come over and join me, I'd be happy to show you how I did it. This is just a quick rendition of the bow, and I just created that out of magazine pages. And I was really happy with how that turned out. I also pulled out some scraps and glued those down to the center and then glued a little um, found object down in the center of that as well. And I had some gold threads laying around that I came back and, and glued into those that bow as well to, to create a little more interest there. So I know this was uh, you know, not a real complete process video, but 20 minutes just wouldn't do it. It took me several days to complete this box and to complete all the things that are packed down inside of it. But I do think that an exploding box is fun and it's fun to create, it's fun to fill, and there's so many options and so many things that you can do with it from photos to money to candy to treasures that you have laying around that, that you want to share, 
ephemera that you've created and want to send off someone just a box of ephemera. What a great way to do it because it does create some excitement when you open it up. And these paper mache bowls, I have a whole video on that. I got into creating that paper mache with toilet paper and, and um, I created a bunch of big bowls, little bowls, and I'm going to be decorating those with encaustic medium. So I hope you'll pop over and join me. And thank you for joining us. Thank you for being here for our Makers Creative Collab. Once again, thank you to Mariah at PM Artist Studio for keeping us together and keeping this going. And who knows what number four will bring. But I hope you'll be back to join us for that one as well. The link to the next video in this hop is right here in my end screen, and that will take you to Lisa at Sirius Heka. So please check out the description, check out all 10 of the artists, and help us by supporting our channel with some comments, some likes, and please subscribe to all. Thank you so much again for being here, and bye for now.